Welcome back to Naval Action, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the final exam retaken. Yes, uh, as I said, I'm going back to the PV or not back, I'm going to the PV server uh, and in order to be able to have a ship and a crew and I really didn't want to go with all small ships, I decided to take the final exam and actually give you also guys a feel and look and feel how it looks in 2021. Uh, as the date of this recording, it's around, I think, late January 2021, so yeah, just so that you know what we're talking about. I have my trusty surprise and I have, I believe, two Cerberuses ahead that really need some Swiss cheese action. Uh, those two gentlemen above have a meeting appointed with Davy Jones, they just don't know it yet. Right. Well, they've encountered your truly. So we have one and a half hour to actually do it. I think we'll do it in much less. However, I'm a little rusty on the smaller ships. Well, smaller ships being the small fifth rates, of course. So don't mind if I do. So the idea as always is sink them and sink them quickly. I'm not really the boarding action kind of guy. I'm really not in capturing ships. I'm just really into digging holes the best way I know how. So let's fire it up. And this is of course a tutorial, you know, exam ship. So it's pretty standard for everybody, I guess. And turn heart to starboard and get ready to punch out some holes. Yes, okay, stop firing him. Fire! Now, if you wanted to fire, this is how you do fire. 19 to the hull, 1 to the shock, 1 to the cannon, and yeah. So that the whole, that's the whole point. Look, one third of his armor is gone. And my carronades, or I think cannons on the rear, will take care, make sure that it's half. Okay. Now, larboard. And you notice, yeah, he's sailing with um, battle sails. I'm actually sailing with full sails. I prefer the maneuverability of it. The speed that it gives me. The advantage. And yeah, I mean, I'm a PvE player, so don't mind me. Now, that being said, my cannons are reloaded. I'm thinking of actually coming up a little bit closer. Let's make a shot. Gauging shot. Fire. There we go. 14 to the hull. Now, that's what I'm call That's what I'm talking about. One more broadside and his armor is gone. Mine not so much because he's trying to fire cannon by cannon and while he's playing with his cannons I'm just gonna send him to the bottom. Note that this is not really the smartest tactic that you want to be doing broadside to broadside. However, given that Mr. Shell Larocque is still far away, I'd much rather be fighting an inferior ship with my superior ship one-on-one -on -one rather than be maneuvering and fighting them both at the same time. 16 to the hull, one module and two leaks. Yeah, and he has a problem with pumps. So I'm guessing the Laurent Herradora is gonna be going to Davy Jones sooner rather than later. Okay, and I'm just thinking turning a little bit to larboard, fire off my bow chasers. I did make a small error in judgment here, however, I'm gonna rectify it right up. I wanted to come a little bit closer to him, and that's when he started maneuvering. However, it's the good thing that the guy at the rear hasn't started engaging me yet. Oh, and from this distance, <laughs> yeah, I know what's gonna happen. Fire! Look at this. 12 to the hull, gorgeous. Look at his structure. He is almost a goner. And I mean, his pump is yellow, meaning that it's still decent. So now I have to worry about Shell Larocque also starting to hit. I'm actually gonna fire off my carronades. See? Almost done with Loren Herradora. So I think actually just if I pull off a hard to larboard and I pass him by, he is actually dead in the water. However, he's now turning the other side towards me. He's turning his larboard side towards me and that one still has some armor. So I don't want to be punching holes in that one. 
Shellarok, yes, I know. Uh, wait a second, it's gonna be your turn sooner rather than later, buddy. I mean, the whole point with this is just be aggressive and, you know, just go at it. There are no points for second place, but when they're firing at you, you want to generally keep a shallow angle. I know they say tank with your broadside. Yes, tank if you have to. Avoid cannonball fire if you can. So I'm gonna start firing on from this range just because I can. There we go. I mean, I'm not hitting the side which gets most damage, but his structure is gonna hit nonetheless. And until I actually turn, it's gonna take a while for my cannons to reload anyway, so not firing cannons would be just a waste of the time so yeah now note that i'm actually going in iron so i'm actually headwind however i'm using my front mass to actually turn a bit there we go shell larok and you're gonna go ahead and try and do some clever trick oh Kit Talon, yeah, don't, no, I don't want to go into the party. I added you to the friend list, I'm not getting into the party yet, sorry. I'm in a mission. I do appreciate the invite though. Maybe in the future I actually will do some, you know, group content and it will be fine to have some friends now on PvE server. PvP just was, I don't know, felt a little bit too toxic for my taste. I'm starting to enjoy naval action again once I'm now on PV. And fire. Because all that I'm enjoying, all that I care about is naval combat. And yeah, mostly PvE combat, but these days I'm not that picky. Let's turn around. My four cannons will hopefully finish Laron Loren Heradora. Not quite. I mean I think he will sink regardless because his damage is extensive. However, personally, I prefer to make sure. I would like to make sure. I actually uh, will actually pop up, pop up a repair now. Uh, and uh, while it repairs, I might as well, you know, disable the cannons. You know, gun crews. So we'll see, if Loren Heradora doesn't sink by the time I pull another pass, I'm just gonna shellac him to the death and it will be the end of him. I really feel like it would be very beneficial that I drill a nice hole into him. Okay, let's see, Shell Larock, what are you made of? Ooh! So he gives me attitude. Okay, I'm game. See, and I'm slowly, my cannons are slowly, you know, reloading while I'm going to Laurent. And Laurent is refusing to sink for one reason or the other. I have no idea why. It's full, completely beyond me. However, maybe my bow chasers will give him the taste of things to come. And they won't because I cannot shoot for shit. Yeah, but we knew that already. Now, I think I'm just gonna turn and from this range any damage will sink him. I mean, two cannonballs hitting should be enough. Okay, Shell, yeah, I know, I know you're eager to get some. Here you go. Ground Fork sank Laurent Heradora. Even better. Even better. But that means I can actually give my Mr. Shell Larocque my full and undivided attention. I'm gonna turn now into the wind. This will actually be a little bit bru more brutal of the turn, but I'm gonna use it to also pop a broadside in Shell over there. I don't like healing. Don't heal. Don't heal. There we go. And fire. I didn't expect many hits, but even, you know, 11 hits is more than enough from this range. So that pretty much puts us on even side, so I can pick which of his sides I'm gonna take, port or the starboard one. 
which is good. I mean, he has less damage than I have. However, he has weaker ship and less cannons, so... Technicalities. Now, let's get in really close and uh, pump him with holes as much as possible. Okay, that just sounded dirty on so many levels. Oof. Now, where are we? There we go. Fire! Fifteen to the hull, eight to the crew. Beautiful. Yeah, you fired off your stern chasers. I might do the same. Well, three to the hull and four to the crew. See? Who says that bow chasers and stern chasers don't make the difference? Handbrake turn. Oh, yeah. Right, sorry. Wrong game. And firing from stern. Let's see if we manage to get some shots in. This was more of a, you know, just like exhibition shot. We don't have the wind with us, so we'll need to turn into the wind once again. I'm actually starting to think maybe I won't, t shouldn't be turning into the wind. Maybe I should just, you know... Yeah, maybe let's just go hard to larboard and actually... Yeah, there we go. Fire! Alright. Shell Larok. From this damage I actually prefer to avoid battle because there's not really the point. I'm more up close and personal kind of guy, but I don't know. He wants to keep the distance, so be it. Oh, he's coming. Beautiful. You have 13 cannons, I have 19. You guess how it's gonna go. Ooh, and one leak. Oh, that was nice. Okay, she's healing a little bit, putting her battle sails up, wonderful, convergence water, raise a little bit, and fire. Yeah, nine cannons, decent. Given his speed and angle, I'm happy with the result. So now we're gonna hold hard to starboard and turn around him. As you can see, I'm taking both his port and the starboard side equally for no particular reason. I mean, it's just opportunity, I guess. If you try to focus one of the sides too much, that's when you start losing it. Because if he so becomes good at protecting his side, then you're in trouble. I mean, obviously he's an AI, he's not going to do it, but a player would. Okay, looks like it's gonna be broadside to broadside, mister. Then come really close so you actually have a chance to feel it nice and tight. There we go. Water based, pull it down and fire. Nineteen to the hull, two to the shock, and three to the crew, and I have even severed his bowsprit. Okay, so his bowsprit and shell shocked. I don't think they will pose a big danger anytime soon. Now I turn to this side, yes, a little bit into the wind. Sorry about that. However. I'm thinking firing from stern, put it into the reverse and just coast gently while I fire off this broadside. Fire! Eight into the hull, pump is hit. That's how I do things, ladies and gentlemen. Now we will be firing again from the bow, set it in neutral and coast. 
All right. I think one or two good broadsides and he is also going to be visiting Dave, Mr. Davy Jones. There we go. Okay, uh, bow chasers, yes. Okay, so I have to I go battle sails and hard to larboard, I guess, if we want to go broadside to broadside, which he clearly wants. He is hitting me, this is not a good solution. I want to be... Fire! Basically, while, while I'm firing, I'm still steering with Rotherho in hopes to get as many hits and as possible. Now I'm actually thinking if I go hard to starboard I will be able to follow, fire both my bows, bow chasers if they manage to reload in time and also a full broadside from my larboard side cannons. So, Yes, bow chasers. Ooh, beautiful. Come, come, come to daddy. Here we go. Fire! Seventeen to the hull, one to the cannon. I believe Mr. Shellarock has an appointment. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Isn't that what they say nowadays? Thought as much. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. I mean, it's a little bit too revealing, saying, you know, you know how it's gonna go, but that's what you do. He is not dead yet, so he's still dangerous in terms of firing, and he's trying to make me work for it. I don't really buy it, I'm just gonna go stick around and, you know, maybe even give him a parting broadside. Who knows? He just might enjoy it. Maybe take down a mast or something. I highly doubt it though, but it would be fun and nonetheless. Alright guys, I think that actually he's about to sink, so that will bring us back to the end of the episode. As you can see, thank you very much for watching, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.